So where are we today, Stu? Oh. Somewhere special. <laughs> well, special for us. Special for us, yeah. Where are we? We're on RH Fisheries Monument <gasps> 2. Yes. Never fished here before. I fished the May and it was a disaster. Um, it was 30. Seven degree heat or something like that. Yeah, the water it was, was boiling. It was in front ridiculous, of me. wasn't it? <laughs> Not that I was there late, but yeah. it was red hot, wasn't it? But yeah, we're on Monument Two. But we're on Monument Two. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? And, and we're excited, aren't we? We're like we're little kids. We're excited. <laughs> we're like kids. We're bouncing around, and we're just. We've one just, of our friends has just had a fish already. I don't know what weight it was, but it was a mirror. Um, I went and seen him land it. Um, we'll probably. Get a few pickies over there that soon. Yeah. Chrissy T, eh? How long have you been here, Chrissy? Been here about an hour. An hour? An hour. I think the reason you've caught that is your new pod, Chris. Yes, look at that. And he's even got matching laces on his trainers for his butt rests. <laughs> look at that! That's carpet, that. Go on, Chris, get it in, lad. You buzzing, Chris? No messing, mate. Absolutely no messing. Have you seen it yet? No, yeah. yeah. Could have bend on that rod. What a test of them, Chris? Two and a quarter. Oh, are they? Oh, three, three I was just going to say two and a quarter. What, you brought your match rod? <laughs> Chris has brought his feeder rod. I can't believe you've gone already, Chris. I've got a good feeling we're going to have a good session. Yeah. Come on, my boys. That's it, Chris. You can pack up and go home, mate. Done. Job done, mate. You've nailed it. That's a good start, that. I know. I've not even seen it yet. It's lumpy, doesn't it? It'd be a 30 that. Chris, you might have the fish you come for. First off. Oh, mate. They called it last time and I was like, well, I caught that um, Ollie last time. Oof. It's a mirror, isn't it? It's a mirror. Get. Morgan, you thought it was you that was in, didn't you, when he called you? Yeah, I know. I thought I was telling my mate there, I said, Morgan's in. Funny though, when he was playing the fish last time, my rod ripped off an eye. Did it? Are you nervous, Chris? Yeah. Go on, lad. Go on, Chrissy, lad. Wind down now, Chris, and fucking step back. No, do it how you want to do it, because if someone tells you to do something different, you lose it, you'll blame them. I'm not even opening my mouth. She's in. Well done, pal. Chris, well in the boy. We've not sus tactics or nothing yet, have we? No, nah, we've just kind of lobbed. We've gone off what the guys said in shop, haven't we? Basically. We've had a chat to, like, as you say, the locals and the people who fish it like, regularly and had a few pointers and we've just followed their lead, really. Yeah, we? well, I've just actually seen a fish show, jump out and I've just cast to it now with a bag on. 
just move on with my rods. It was due a recast anyway, to be honest. So I've had a few liners. Yeah, um, I have a couple I'm of fishing liners. to a, like a, I think it's a, a bar, a gravel bar, or whatever they said. I'm fishing to that, and I've had a few liners, but there was a few tufties. Yeah, we're not quite sure. So we're not sure whether there was one under while I had the liner or what, but it's hopeful if our pals had one after 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's half nine now. Mm. I, I reckon I got fishing about eight o'clock. Yeah. Because got here at half six, then get your bait, blah, 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 set up, cast, and it, it was about eight o'clock, I think, when I got my rods in. It's half nine now, so hour and a half. What a lovely place, eh? Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Lovely. It looks... Um, yeah, I will show you now, anyway. Yeah. Not the brightest of days, but it is a nice place, isn't it? We're on peg three and four. You're on three, aren't you? Yeah. I'm on four in towards the corner there. That ring there, that little one there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm fishing. Basically, I'm just fishing straight. Oh, Stu's just had another bleep, another liner. Is that another tufty? Right one again. Right one. Keep the eye on that right one. So, so Stu, Stu's like that gap there. The gap in. Where's that? There's that tree there, the gap there that you can see. Yeah, yeah, you're in there. I'm in there. And there's I, nothing just come up there. And I'm firing at the other peg nine opposite me, basically. But I've got one, I've just chucked one in that margin down there. Well, as well as that bank, no one's fishing in. So that, that, was, swim. that was a liner. Because so there's no trough to come up. There's something happening in there. Yeah. Which is good. But yeah, it's nice. Bit of a bowl with a little island in over there, but yeah, it's like a like a, like a big bowl. Um, you can One see. thing we have noticed: the the bar what we're casting to. That's where all the bird life is congregating. Yeah, it's, it's like that. It's, it's like a line. It's right where across. that line is joining the water, like the yeah. ripples in the, or just past the thing, isn't it? From the dark till the light, yeah, like yeah, here. Yeah. And all the birds. Are in that area, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not as far out, so I'm only 12 wraps. I got told to fish 12 and about 14 wraps, so that's what I'm doing for now. But, uh, How long are we here for? 36? 36, so it's where, uh, what is it? Thursday, Thursday morning, and we're going Friday tea time, 6 o'clock. So we've got a bit of time, haven't we? Yeah. Got a bit of time. So hopefully. But in typical Stu and Graham style, we're already talking about our next session. <laughs> yeah, going Bob's Island. We're talking. <laughs> going River Trent. <laughs> we're talking about Bob's Island on the River Trent, and we've been here, but we're, we're speaking about it after we've been here for 40 minutes. <laughs> like we always do. So Stu's just munching his porridge or finishing it, and I haven't had a brew yet. That's one, that one just, just pushed back out the world, so see? Yeah. There's one there, in there on the top, that's been there. A bit there. Anyway, so I'm going to go and make a brew. I think he's made one. I haven't done anything yet. Oh, I've not had a brew, but I reckon I should cast it at you. And it's on the top though, isn't it? It's on the surface. Stay in there though, that's the one that was cruising before. I've brought my floater gear. I think you can use floaters. Yeah, you can, you're just not allowed plastics. Yeah. Well, it's the only fish we've seen near top, innit? Right, let's go make a brew and then get settled and see what happens and give some updates. <laughs> so my, um, my rigs are basically on solid bags but we're not Ronnies because you're not allowed Ronnies or 360s. I'm just on um, my, my old, what I used to use, my wafter rig and I mean, you've got to use their bait so I'm on the Robin Red bait and I've got the matching up bait somewhere, wherever they are. I can't even know where I've put them now. Um, so yeah, I'm on, just on the wafters. You can use your own hook baits but I've just matched the hatch for now and then see what happens. Well, yeah, exciting. It's exciting. Couldn't sleep proper last night. Well, Stu, what's happening? How many have you had? Uh, if I have another one now, that'll be my first one. It. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That me too. <laughs> so yeah, what's happening? Not a lot. Seen a couple of fish bosh out, but that's about it. We've had a couple of liners. Can you give me half a head here. Yeah, sorry, mate. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. It's best looking out the two, and you're cutting me off. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to have a little snooze now, are we? It's about half, no, it's not one o'clock. Not yeah. <laughs> My baby's over there, is it? <laughs> one o'clock, so. We're, we're going to have a recast, aren't we? We said to ourselves every two hours, we're going to recast. Yeah. Uh, it's one o'clock now, so we're going to have a recast and then um, a go snooze. We're going to try and have a snooze. We've been told, we've been tipped Stu's off. Stu's idea of a snooze is probably three or four hours. <laughs> <laughs> we've been tipped off that bite time's three o'clock, so we thought it's one o'clock now, hour and a half snooze, quick coffee. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and the rest is history. <laughs>
I didn't know there was someone fishing there. There's someone fishing in yeah, there. Yeah, on the on six, not five though. So they yeah, had that little corner's free, but so no one else has had anything out of our group anyway. Um, yeah, only that twenty six, ten. Lovely yeah. fish, though, wasn't it? Yellow, was. yellow mirror. We'd be fishing less than an hour, on it? It was literally twenty minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, it went. Like you, your cat. Yeah, cat master, wasn't it? Yeah, cat master Pete. <laughs> So, we've not really got anything else to say, have we? No. We've, not, we've literally just sat here chatting and having I've had eat. a great bacon and egg butty. <laughs> and I've had two quarter pounders. <laughs> two quarter pounders. <laughs> With cheese. He had one in each side of his, his <laughs> cheeks like a hamster. Yeah, like a hamster. Hamster cheeks. So, so hope. hopefully, we'll have a, a, a snooze, a brew, and then we'll have a fish on the bank. We've said one fish between us today would be nice. And then tomorrow we're going to go at it. I want to go at it now, B. Just... Well, don't go sleep then. Stay awake. I might do, yeah. Well, I probably won't go sleep. I'll, <laughs> I'll try. Eyes are like I've just been rubbing them. Holes the in no, the, snow the, the no, I've, I've, got, I've got itchy eyes. <laughs> I've got an itchy eye. <laughs> <laughs> So I've tried having a snooze, a stews. So I think Stu is asleep at this moment. Yeah, I heard him chatting to his mates. And I, went, I fell asleep and then done a snort and woke myself up. And now I can't get back to sleep, so I've given up. As usual, I can't sleep. So I've just been having a scout round, being down these margins here um, to my left, trying to see if I can see any fish, but. Not seeing out, not seeing out. Just had a couple of little liners uh, just then as I picked my phone up and um, I'll check, me, check the time and it's five to, five to three, which um, the, lad, the lad who fishes here quite a bit said, like you said before, Stu, 12 and three. I thought he said 12, two, three, but Stu reckons he said 12 and three is the bite time. So it's three o'clock now, so Come on, Rods, come on. Um, yeah, it's getting a bit like Merrington, this video. Like, oh, nothing's happened, nothing's happened. But I feel, I will not say more confident, but I've, there's a bit more happening. I've seen a little couple of fish, I've seen a couple of fish come out and we're getting little lines. Merrington, when I fished there the other week, that first day, didn't well first day and a half I didn't see a single thing didn't get a liner or anything at least I've had a couple of liners and stuff here so I'm hoping there's fish in the area but yeah if you see there I'm not sure whether to put some baiting down there to my left um, like a couple of handfuls of bait or something and just see if any of the margins start fizzing up because oh uh -oh, it does not does there's no no one fishing in this corner because peg five's empty. I'm just thinking, are they going to move down there at some point? But don't know. Don't know what to do. Not changing anything at the moment. Um, this time, um, tomorrow morning, if nothing's happened, then I might have a little change of hook bait or something. I might, I might change one of my hook baits after for tonight. I don't know. I mean, you can you can use your own hot baits but not boilies and feed so I might just stick one of my manillas on um, see what happens don't know but yeah I have to um, don't really know what to do don't really know what to do so apart from that one fish I've um, not heard of any heard of any more coming out or seen any more come out. So I think it's just a waiting game, see what happens. Play it by you. Right. Catch up in a bit. Well, still no <laughs> happened. <laughs> well. As soon as that voice comes on. As soon as well. that, well, you know it's depressing like, time. Oh, God. No, I'm not too fussed yet. I'm not. Day one. Day one. And it's yeah. not the end of day one. No, it's five o'clock, so we've still got. Three hours of daylight. We've only we only know of one fish being caught. And that was your mate. Yep. I've not seen anybody else hauling, so I've just 
moved one, moved my left hand rod down that margin there because it's the only place where no one's fishing in it at the moment. And you found a little bar, haven't you? Yeah, there's a bar, so I'm on top of the bar. It was at eight, no, nine wraps, I've got it. Just on the bar. I'm fishing just to local knowledge. <laughs> local knowledge, yeah. So am I on the other one. Not seen a fish jump out or nothing yet, no. so the most activity I've seen is greaves. What's that? Birds. No, I mean, what's that airplane? <laughs> Helicopter. 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 So, there's nothing to report. No. The only I thing, had a good snooze. Yeah, you had a good snooze. I had, I had 10 minutes and then woke myself up with a snort. <laughs> I heard myself and woke myself up and I was like, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get back sleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's got eyes like piss holes in the snow. Uh, that's, yeah, I've had an hour, have about an hour and ten, an hour and twenty. I'm going to have a couple of beers after anyway. When it starts to go dark, I'm having a couple of beers and I'll get some snoozy then. I put a manila on me um, me up bait now on, on my left one. Okay. Changed it yeah, from the robin red stuff to just I, for some different. Don't think it matters. I don't. What, what I, honest, I, I honestly don't. I honestly don't. The munch. They're on the munch. If they're not, they're not. I'm just trying to give myself a bit of a. Confidence but boost. The thing ours. is, from what we've been told, they don't fish this on a Wednesday, do they? No, no it's closed. Day, yeah. So. They do maintenance, <laughs> don't should, they? Should be on the month, shouldn't they? Yeah, they've had no bait. Well, it all depends how much bait gets piled in, like at the beginning of the week and all that. You start overthinking things, don't you? Yeah. The thing is, people come here and they catch, don't they? Yeah. And they go and blank, so it's just one of them, isn't it? Whatever happens, happens. But every single time I come, to a water like this, like a kind of a prolific water, what, what we've drove. And you're dead excited. And I'm dead <laughs> excited and we've drove halfway across the country to, I, I picked the worst week in, in the year. It always happens to me. <laughs> so unless I catch something, I'm an omen. Yeah, I won't be coming with you again no, then. <laughs> I don't blame you. <sighs> that was one just straight that out there. definitely a fish. Oh, it's a duck. <laughs> fish with a big long black neck. <laughs> Oh well. Well, what's that? What's next then, Stu? I've just put one down left. I'm going to leave that for two hours, and then I might have it do it again. I might leave it there all night. I don't know. Well, unless because nothing's in, happening out there, is no, it? If I see a fish jump out in my reach, if it's just swirling around the top, I'm not going to bother. If it jumps out, I'm going to cast to it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's that's my plan. Otherwise, I'm just going with the the, the lad in the shop's knowledge. Well, and he's got the best, probably the best knowledge on here, hasn't he? Or, Owns the place, doesn't he? But tomorrow, it's going to. Was that a fish or something casting? Where? Oh, is it not an hour swim? Jesus, I think it was somebody must have been casting that then. Might have been Chris and that. Yeah. Um, tomorrow's going hot, isn't it? Tomorrow goes to uh, yeah, 24 degrees or something like that. I don't um, want that. But way oddly lower pressure than it is today. Mm. It's pretty high today. The pressure. It's at 10.16, and then tomorrow goes to 10.10. So if nothing, we'll get a tan. <laughs> <laughs> 70 quid for a tan <laughs> as you can see it's just going dark now um, must be around the 8 o'clock mark maybe just after the nights are creeping in now it's autumn um, nothing nothing much has happened just had a couple of little liners but yeah Stu's just redoing his rod for the night I've just done one of mine I've got one out between one in the middle at screen out 12 wraps still and the other one I've decided to leave down this margin on the bar we have seen a big fish come out um, in front of Stu twice it's come out so he's just redoing his rod refreshing it now um, but yeah apart from that there's only that one fish come out this morning when we first got here can't believe it I thought we was on for a right old session when that happened, but never mind, day. Eh? Still got a full day, yeah. So, I'm just going to have a, a can of Guinness. And uh, I'm going to have a chat with Stu, and then I'll get my head down nice and early tonight. Because I want some sleep. So, I will catch you in the morning, if not later.
there we go. Uh, quarter to two in the morning. And my right hand rod has just screamed off. And I've got myself a nice carp in the net. Nice little mirror. Well, nice, not not little mirror. Decent sized mirror, to be honest. Um, I've just, I'd wait, I've pre weighed it um, for doing this. And it's 20, 24, 2. So, yeah, made up, come up 28 something in the sling. So it's 20, 24, 2 pound. Lovely, lovely fish, mink condition. Looks like it's never been caught. Um, show you now, cracker. Not woke stew, I suppose I've woke stew up, but uh, I completely forgot. We've got the walkie talkies, but he's only down there, but I don't see the point when he's asleep waking him up now. I always feel a bit guilty, to be honest. Oh, there we go. See how good it comes out in this light. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Belter. Belter. Made up. Was not expecting anything at all tonight. So. Oh, bonus. Feels like a bonus fish, this. Yeah. They said it was more of a day water, so same as Merrington. So when it went, I couldn't believe it. So, lovely fish. So my rod's back out. I'll just, I'll just put this in net a minute while if we've done my rods. So it's still at the 12 wraps. Um, I haven't really not had any beeps or anything, just out of the blue. Oh, come on. Oh, right. Lovely. And it's behaving for a change. I've just heard one bosh out near Stu. So a lovely fish, look at that. Cracker. So I'm going to check the footage and then we'll let it go, eh? Belter. Hopefully the first of a few now. We'll see, we'll see. I just better get my ass back to bed. So it's the last morning, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, been up a few hours, um, nothing's happened for me, but we have some news as one of the guys who's with, with us, one of Stu's mates, he's had a big fish. Well, I'll let Stu tell you about that in a bit because he went round to have a look, I'm a bit too far away so I didn't want to leave me swim a bit of a miserable ass, but <laughs> I just didn't want to leave me swim, I didn't feel right. So. I, um, I stayed, but I've seen the video, and it's a unit, it's a unit. But I'll let Stu tell you, tell you about that. So Stu, I've told them that something good, Special's special's happened. come out on it, for one of your mates. So, oh, yeah, sun's hot now. Chrissy, um, one of my pals from home, who came, well, we came, we came on this trip, didn't we? Yeah, we, <laughs> we joined yeah, this trip. we jumped. Um, he, last year he had a fish out with a vehicle called Ollie at 45 something, wasn't it? 45 yeah. something. Yeah. And he was over in in our swim telling Graham about the fish and how he had it and just showing him pictures on his phone and his rod, well his, his receiver went beep beep. Like only a, a couple of, a only a couple of beeps, wasn't it? Bit of a scattered erratic take. Beep 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 like bobbing up, bobbing down, bobbing up, bobbing down. Nothing what you'd expect for a big fish. Anyway he went, I think that's my rod, so he's he's gone to his swim and um his bobbins up and down, up and down, up and down. So he struck into it and the same fish has come out again. It's all in <laughs> what he had last year. It's mad bad, a little bit um lighter. I think she was three oh, it was three pound lighter and um He's done it again. 
He's had, had two forties, <laughs> same forty twice. Yeah. Is it the second biggest hit late? Did you say? I think so. Yeah. I don't know much about this lake, so I don't know. No, I don't. Uh, someone said it's the second biggest in that lake. But anyway, he's, he's had a forty-two something one it today. Yeah. Um, so it's lost a little bit of weight, but what a jump! The biggest. Who had car. the other one? The twenty-six. Him. Oh, well, he had two. Was yeah, he's had had two both so he had one after forty-five minutes, and then he had them both at the same time. So it must be a bike time. So he had them both at eight. I think he had the first one yesterday morning at 8.23 and this one at 8.40 something so there's a bit of something in that isn't there? You'd think so yeah. Uh, maybe a, an 8 o'clock bike time. And somebody else had one over there didn't he that old older guy? The old fella had one last night and he had one again this morning so um, he's, done that. he's done well. I've still had nothing, Graham's had one haven't you? I had one last night. So there's me, my pal James and my pal Morgan who's had nothing. And then my pal Chris has had two, and Graham's had one. One. Mm. So. Mm, but the flipping sun's come out now proper, and it? it's proper. roasting. <laughs> it's roasting that's and a bit why gutted. I'm cool, as you know what I mean. And that's why I'm like this, saluting everyone. Graham's had a baby cat, <laughs> a baby wipe wash. <laughs> He's just asked me if I want some deodorant. I said I don't use deodorant when I'm at home, Graham. I'm not going to use it when I'm fishing. He's the only person you ever know who cleans his teeth in the van driving. Yeah. And he's <laughs> clean them now, the furry. I know, I've just done mine. I've been minging. So, personally, I don't I don't think we're doing anything wrong. I just don't think the fish are on, on the, the swim, I think. My corner fizzed up before, didn't it? I put a bag Your on it. The corner was fizzing its nuts off. Someone's told me that they do a rotation of the, the lake and they all stick together and do a oh. rotation of the lake. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, somebody who's fished this venue before can Is leave it? a comment or whatever but it's going to be noisy he's a digger coming uh, oh, what do you call trap <laughs> uh, pause it a minute the fish do a full rotation in the lake together yes. and just pick bits off these little plateaus so if you're on the plateau and you know you get a bite chances are you're going to get two or three that's what i've heard Again, I can't fish, tell you by experience because I've never fished it before. Yeah, I've not done many of these fisheries either. No. I've done common wood and that was similar to this. You just got a couple of runs and then nothing and then a couple more maybe just like scattered, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but while we're on the subject of Chrissy and his big 42 pound mirror, Whoa. a big shout out going out to his daughter Heidi, Heidi <laughs> Turney. Um, bang into her fishing she comes fishing with me and Chrissy every now and again spinning she said oh can you shout out on the channel give me a big shout out she's subscribed to the Lim Angler the Lim Dangler. Dangler. <laughs> I think the Lim Angler Dangler is a local hero yeah I don't think so I think yeah. it's you I think, so, I think it's since you've joined the crew nah, well, you know. <laughs> so yeah hello Heidi keep fishing catching them perch and little Jack Pike on the canal <laughs> well Stu what, what next mate I'm going to move my rod back onto me, me baited spot. The I think. depressing thought is. Don't, I've, I've got, already done that. I've got. Don't. A little under six hours to produce. A little under six hours. If, it don't, if I don't produce. Well, I said, I said I before. I'm going to go home, scour the calendar. What did they say and before? Book on again. What did they say before in the last. Day? They had nothing last cut time. Cut my head off again. <laughs> he just cuts me off. It's like my missus on family photographs. Every, <laughs> all the kids are there and the missus is there and, and I've she, got no head. Yeah, well, if she doesn't, she cuts them out anyway. Cuts them out anyway. Was, was that what they were saying before last time they were on? They had all the bites in the last hour? The last hour when I've got to pack up and go home. Are you going at five, yeah? Got to do the charity run, haven't I? Oh, I am not. So, yeah, it looks like you might smash it in the last hour and I'll be driving down the M6. I'll be on your baited spot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Let's make it happen. Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, for you've had a I fish. want more. I know, but let's make it I want happen. More, mate. I want more. No, I feel good there. You. Ah. Look at the size of him. Right. Catch you in a bit when he's finished molesting me. Here he is with his his um, arch nemesis. What's she called? Oh, he nearly goes in. So he's his. Um, identified it as the fish he had last year called Ollie. It's a brute. He's been on the money this lad has. What if you had a 2610 when you got here? Look at the size of that. Oh god it is. Jesus Christ that is a lump. That's the biggest carp I've ever laid my eyes on. Never seen a carp that big in my life. Smashed it, dead orange again, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. 
Ready, Jim? <coughs> Portrait, make sure you get the fish right bang on it, yeah? Right, one sec. That's a beast, that Chris. Well done, mate. Sides, thanks, mate. Fucking shaking. Sorry for the language, but. <laughs> That's all you've been doing, shaking, lad, ain't you? Portrait in natural light? No. Jim, well, you take it what you did yesterday, bro. You ready? That's a proper fish. Them elbows on your knee. That is a proper fish. Beautiful, Chris. Check the gut on it. Fish has got a big gut as well. <laughs> <laughs> Done it again. So yeah, he had this fish, was it last year, Chris? Last year, mate, yeah. 45, 4 it was. 45, 4. It a little bit more. We've not weighed it yet, so we're not sure whether it's lost weight, well, put on weight. Just trying to get rid of that one, okay, man. Look at the mouth on it. Go on. Don't pull it. Well done. Picture the other side or? Pull it out, Jim. So he's just gone 12 o'clock, about 10 past 12, and it's absolutely scorching. I mean, this is by far the hottest day we've had for a good while, like beginning of September now, and we're just having a freak few days. This weekend's supposed to be glorious, and it's the Friday now, and um, it just looked like he was never going to get a bite. Anyway, one of that lads on peg one, his rods just ripped off, out of the blue, just wouldn't expect to get a bite now, um, but his rod's gone so we'll have a look at that eh, because Stu's gone round there to film it again. There he is, the third fish, one, two, fourth fish of the the uh, trip, Morgan with his mirror. Oh yes. What does she weigh Morgan? 17 pounds. Nice. Yeah. Well, well done mate. John well done, pal. Nice Stu and Jim next day. Yes. That's all catch. Us two next, lad. Well in, boys. Well in, Morgan. Cheers, pal. Well done, boys. Hey, okay. Stu. Just saying, doesn't look like you're going to get a bite, and Morgan's just had one. Yeah. So. But most of the action's been down that side of the lake. It has, it, it has, yeah. We don't want to put a negative spin on the trip. I know, though. yeah. <laughs> I think I one. think he's just had one in that corner, you know. I can hear him saying twenty-eight pound or something. No, but I didn't see him playing it. I heard him go yes or something. What? The, 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 him in the middle, eh? No, the what? I think there's somebody next to him. Not this first one. That's five, six. I think seven. I think. I've not. I've never seen him, but I'm sure he's just caught one. Or I heard him just chatting. Then no, quite loud. Mm. Well. Which gives us a bit more hope. Mm. I heard to say 28 and then 31, so whatever they like weighing the sling and stuff, do you know? Taking it off, I don't know. Unless they're just genuinely talking, but it did, because they did hear him go, hey, or something like that. So I don't know if he's had one. Which is good, because that means there's two runs in like. Uh, I'm 15. absolutely dying for a fish, but for the wrong reasons, just so I can get a bucket of water over me. Because <laughs> it's that red up, It is warm, isn't it? To say this must be the hottest day we've had for ages. It's honest to God, global warming, eh? <laughs> so, we're still open, the stew, still open. I'm not giving up me till six o'clock. I'm not giving up hope. I would be ill if I get off at five and use all the <laughs> hour. I know, yeah. I would be ill. You'd be devastated, devastated. wouldn't you? Devastated. I know, especially when you spent 35 hours here and then the last hour. Yeah. I'd come back though, would you? Yeah, I'd come back. A nice relaxed place, isn't it? It's nice, relaxed. You can you can wander onto each other's swims because there's not many snags, is there? No. And it's like a big bowl, so you're like you're not going to snag up. If well, from leave. what people have said, there's no snags. It's yeah. all clear bottom. There's no weed. But from what I feel as well, I feel I've learned something about the place. Like yeah, yeah. Where the, the where the bars are. are yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's quite nice. I like Merrington as well. I say that I don't know which one I prefer. I'm not sure. I've not done Merriton. You have come there. I've done the Mare. The Mare's lovely. The Mare is lovely because it's in a, like a pine forest and it's 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 natural. It's a natural setting. It's beautiful. Yeah, the, the easel, this is a bit like a bowl and so yeah, is yeah. that Hayes Lake. It's just like a bowl with a, an island separate. It's like this but smaller and, a, and a, an island just separating two halves. So yeah. But I like the Lecky Uckle because you don't have to worry about things going flat, do you? 
I've only been charging my phone like I can just charge my head torch up now but it just saves worrying about it you've had your fridge plugged in haven't you got my fridge in there so all my gear in it hmm well Stu fingers crossed eh fingers crossed how long's left let's have a look half twelve oh five and a half four and a half hours five and a half yeah for you oh yeah 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 four and a half for me Come on, it could happen, he's just proved it anyway, he's just pulled that one out, so, and he, I'm sure he's had one over there. But I didn't see him playing the fish, because I did hear him then a lot, and I couldn't. I don't know, anyway. <sighs> right. right. I'm going to stop snake hunting. <laughs> he's been looking for snakes, walking up and down the bloody bank looking for a snake, because somebody's seen one before. Not got a clue what he's planning on doing with it, like, but, right, let's get fishing here, I might have a rechuck. We're down to the last two hours now, and we're up to four o'clock. I can't believe all day I have not seen a single fish in front of me. Um, Stu's had them in front of his in the last hour or so, last hour or two. Peg one and two have had all the fish in front of them. I've just talking to the guy who's to my left round the corner a bit. He, he blanked, but his mate had had one that was a 30, um, but he said, He's been sat there, not seen it. He's been fishing 12 wraps out, not had a line and not had a bite, not seen a fish because he can see the same water. He's like looking at the same bit of water as me. He says, I've not seen a fish today, not in our swims. Um, so, yeah, it's been very slow today for me. Well, at least I've caught one, at least I've had one anyway. But it's been absolutely boiling, so it's just cooling down a bit now. I think, I think because I'm in the shade, I think the sun's gone over and I'm in the shade now so it's cooled down a bit. So yeah, um, Stu's going in about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, I'm staying till the till death, me till six o'clock. Just hope for one more bite, but I don't know. Hopefully the motorway won't be too chocker going home, that M6. Well, anyway, let's see. Let's see if anything happens um, since since that lad had that 40 this morning. I um, don't think anyone. Oh no, they had that 17, didn't they? 17 pounder. Since then, no one's had a, a run or anything. I don't, I've not seen any fish come out. Apparently, the two in the corner over there, over there, they've had two fish since they got here. Um, but yeah, they all seem to be on the right hand side of the water. This left hand side, the, the wind, if the wind was pushing this way, it'd probably been a bit better. But it's tough, isn't it? Right, fingers crossed, eh? I'm kind of packed up. Um, half packed up. I've just, just made a brew. And I'm going to start, I will load the barrel up, I think, and just leave a couple of bits and bobs off. And then I'm ready to go. Right, to catch up in a bit. <laughs> well, Stewie, 10 minutes left, mate, for you. Hour and 10 for me. I'm done. You're done? I, I'm finished. I'm, uh, I've, got, I've got two rods in with, with pebbles on the spoon. <laughs> so there's <laughs> no, bite, no bite alarms, just so I can hear the pebbles crash on the other pebbles. That's how to the death it is. I'm packed up. I've got everything on my barra and I've give up now. <laughs> You've give up. <laughs> I've got to be back in Manchester for... Uh, about half six, seven, and I don't know what the traffic's like, so I want to be hitting the road for five. Because just speaking to someone who said it's two hours back with the traffic, what it shouldn't oh, be one that. I'm glad that I'm going change. a bit later. Yeah, it can change that, can't it? Half head to do again, yeah. Because <laughs> you're too frigging tall. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's that. It, it was a big bl Billy Blank for me. Um, one for me. My pal next to us there in peg two. A bit of a blank for him so far, but he could turn it on. He you could never do, know. He could do. He's looking at me laughing. <laughs> he, he knows he's going to catch one as I'm sailing down the M6. Uh, and then our pals in peg one and one B have had um, two, two, three fish. Two. Three fish. Three. Chris has had two. One being a, a monster, and Morgan's had one twenty. Was it twenty? Six. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. And yeah, then seventeen. Yeah. And I had a twenty-four. Yes. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Gone again. So, yeah. 
Oh well. Tail between my legs, down the M6. Home to rub the missus's feet. For the I weekend. think it's been a bit too hot today, hasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday was the better day. I was getting liners yesterday. Today, absolutely nothing. But oddly, the pressure was high yesterday, and it's not now. Is it? Not yeah. even checked. It was, it was 10, 10, 17 yesterday, and today it's meant to be 10, 10, 10 or 10, 11. So you'd think the pressure would be sky high today, wouldn't you? Yeah. But if you look. There's not many on top or nothing. No, but if you look, the swallows are uh, catching the flies right on the top of the water. That's how you can tell. When the pressure's oh, yeah, high, it goes higher that, yeah. up, doesn't it? The flies go higher up and the birds go no higher up. proper David Atom, David Atom, oh, really you, aren't you? I know, bugger all about fishing, but I know about the birds he and the pressure. He knows about flies. <laughs> and flies. <laughs> Get off. Right, so, so yeah. I think we're going to start off there because I'm just going to put all this stuff away. Try, right, try and induce a bite and open back everything up. Half a head again. Yep, yep. Keeps moving, I so, I think. I'm going to try and induce a bite by packing everything away. And then just hope for the best. It sometimes does it, and call on BT. Yeah, Bit of a do. private joke, but call on BT. I know, might do. Some people Old might Barry. know what that means. Right, so I'll see you next time. Hopefully, he'll get another bite. All right. So, catch you later. And where are we going next, Jay? Where? Yeah. All right, okay, I'm back again now. Yeah, you can right, come okay. back now. Uh, so, we're either next... gonna, we said this last time we're going to Ryan Hill, but we, we did. never did. But we want to go Ryan Hill, don't we? Yeah. We'd like to go Ryan Hill. Um, Bob's Island. Bob's Island. You want to do that when the weather changes a bit. I want to do a few Bob's Islands over the winter, and then pretty soon, what, what are we go, in now? You want to go Tetan as well, don't you? September. I reckon mid October we'll be piking again, won't we? Mid? I reckon yeah. the first of October you'll be. Yeah. Oh no, we do. We, yes. I reckon the first we, of October you'll. We want to get out, don't we, on um, one of our one of our local waters? Yeah. So we've got a lot to pack in in three weeks. Yeah, we <laughs> it ain't going like, to happen, is it? No, I'll have to do some foot rubbing to do that. I oh, know. Not mine. Not mine. I better you go home and start now, Anna. <laughs> tell our phone on the way home and tell her to get her trotters out. If you're watching this, Sarah, get your trotters out ready. I'm get, your pink, home. get your pinkies out. It's a rub. <laughs> right, let's see you later. Right, see you, Stu. So, I think I'll sign off here and hope for the best. Because I'm going to pack all my gear away. I'm going to pack my recording gear away. Because it goes at the bottom of my pile. Because they have it all stacked a certain way. Because I'm going to sit sit with everything packed up and like Stu with his um, pebbles on the spills. I'm going to do all that for the last 30, 30 minutes. And then when he calls time, I think you've got half an hour to get off. There should be, should be plenty. Oh, he's reeling in now. He's reeling in. He's not happy. Right, thanks for watching anyway, and uh, we'll see you on our next trip. <laughs>